everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. This is a continuation of my SF vlog. I spent the night sleeping near the gate at the airport. This is what I'm having for breakfast before flying to Utah. This vlog documents my experience as a volunteer at the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah. First, I'm taking a two-hour flight from SFO to SLC. Then from Salt Lake City International Airport, I have to take another 70-minute flight to St. George Regional Airport. Once I get there, I have to drive more than 90 minutes to get to the sanctuary. There is no public transportation whatsoever. I'm not a confident driver, that's why I chose the closest airport. So I don't need to drive too much. I've been wanting to check out the sanctuary for almost 10 years now. But as you can see, getting there is not easy. It's not cheap either. Since I'm doing revenge travel in the US, I have finally decided to spend a couple nights here. This is the car I get. Let me record it. Wow, this is nice. So dirty though. So I just got to my rental car now. I'm a bit nervous because I never drove in Utah before. This is an adventure, but I'm going to drive to Best Friend Sanctuary right now. It's gonna take 90 minutes and I have a shift starting today. So hopefully I can make it. Let's go. So I made it here at the visitor center. Just check in at the dog headquarter. Now I have to drive to the doggy preschool. <laughs> That's where I'm volunteering today. I love how every dog here has their own comfortable space. They all get to go outside more than three times a day to walk and play. The first dog I get to interact with is this sweet, beautiful boy, Oriole. fell in love with him at first sight. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. So I just finished playing with three dogs at the puppy preschool. Now I basically just play with them at the dog park and clean up their poop. Now she's sending me to admissions to help cleaning as well. Here, folding the laundry and organizing the toys. While folding the laundry, I realized the importance of cleanliness at animal shelters. Cleaning and doing laundry are time-consuming chores they must do non-stop in order to keep the place fresh and sanitized. I've visited a few shelters in Asia before that were really nasty. The animals wouldn't be happy in that kind of environment. It also lowers their chances of getting adopted. Can you come here? Can you sit in the front, please? Can I come here? Come here. You are so chonky. Yeah, sit, 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 sit. Good girl, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My car's gonna be dog hair everywhere. This is my sleepover girl. Really, really big old hound. The fun part is you can do sleepover with one of their animals if you stay at one of their accommodations. I booked two nights at the Best Friends Roadhouse and Mercantile. Give you a room tour. Living room area, TV, closet, king size bed, little doggy bed. So aesthetic, it's like Muji vibe. 
standing shower. And every product here is vegan and cruelty free, which is awesome. This room is not cheap. It's like 180 a night, but it is so comfortable. It smells so good in here. My friend Tina gave me this. This is so addictive. I would like to just suck on it. I think the plan for dinner is to walk to Wild Time Cafe, which is only about 13 minutes walk. The only thing that's a bit troublesome is that I cannot leave her alone in this room. So yeah, I think I'm going to walk her to the restaurant. I don't know, I don't know how she will act around people because she's a bit skittish. Hi, oh, it's okay. This is my first time walking in a wild west town. Kanab has a population of about 4,800. This is the kind of town where everyone knows everyone. I find it really cool. I'm having the impossible burger. Overall, it's a very juicy and delicious burger. I would give it 5 stars if the texture of the buns is more elastic. This is the tofu chocolate mousse. I know the appearance can be a bit off-putting, but trust me, it tastes really really good. Vegan breakfast is included. They only serve coffee, pastries, and overnight oats for complimentary breakfast. After breakfast, I joined the free guided tour. So this is the little tour van, but no one else is here. I'm the only one that's going on tour. So I get a private one-on-one -on -one tour. Best Friends Animal Society is the largest no-kill shelter in the US with the admirable mission to turn every shelter to no-kill by year 2025. The sanctuary itself spans across 3,700 acres of land. It is currently a refuge for up to 1,600 animals. They have seven areas dedicated for different species. There are Dog Town, Cat World, Horse Haven, Piggy Paradise, Bunny House, Parrot Garden, and Wild Friends. After the grand tour, it's time for some vegan lunch buffet. The buffet only costs $5 per person. As a guest staying at their accommodation, I get a meal voucher.
Besides delicious food, you also get this amazing view of Angels Canyon from the outdoor patio. After lunch, it's time for my second volunteer shift. This is Logan. You are very, very hyper. High energy doggy, but you are sweet. I understand when looking for a pet, some people have preference on the size and the breeds. That's totally fine. There are breed-specific rescue groups out there that focus on rehoming purebreds. Maybe look into that or do some research before you decide to support a breeder. For instance, my family got a cute five-year-old Pomeranian because the previous owner wasn't able to give her the best care anymore. My point is, there are always better options than just purchasing from a pet shop. So if you're thinking of getting a fur baby, please consider adopting from your local shelters. Your choice can help save lives. Oh, they have different food. I see. Uh huh. They truly care for every dog's well being by catering to their different diet requirements. After feeding them, washing the dishes, then we start preparing their breakfast for the next day. Ario, you're sleeping with me tonight. Come on, come on, Ario. It's my last night here, and I'm so happy I got Oreo to do sleepover with me. We're gonna have so much fun together. So I just got Oreo, one of the sweetest dogs, to do over with me tonight. I'm going to walk him to do a little hike around here. You like hiking? This is the most peaceful and calming cemetery. Like I want to die here. That's how peaceful I feel. I can literally die right here and have no regrets. Good on walk, good in car, huh? Good in room, you're so cute. Love you. You're a little sweet angel. There's gonna be a concert tonight, and there's a vegan taco food truck. So, first, I just ordered a nachos and one of their tacos. They were so freaking delicious. My phone died, so I couldn't record them. But I went back and got three other tacos. Literally every bite gives me food gasm. I don't know how they do it. If you ever come to Kanab, you must, must, must try their tacos. They are life changing. So it is my last day here in Kanab, Utah. I just did laundry and now I have my last volunteer shift. I'm going to send this guy, Oriol, back to the adoption hub and after I volunteer there, I plan to take a scenic drive at Zion National Park. My flight is at 5 p.m. so I'm going to give it a try. Back at the adoption hub, my last shift begins by cleaning and setting up the cat room then Oriel got to do some playtime with his mate. So I'm doing my last shift now at Best Friends. I am walking the dogs. I love this trail, it's so peaceful. Oh, 
Oreo. You are the cutest doggy ever. Oreo. I'm so in love with you, Oreo. Then it's time to say goodbye. I'm so sad. Before leaving best friends, I decided to have their $5 vegan buffet one last time. My last meal in Utah, Kanap. Sad. So I just set up my GoPro. I have a few hours left here in Kanab and I am going to Zion National Park for the scenic drive and from there I will head directly to the airport and fly to Denver tonight. It costs $35 to enter, but it grants you access to the park for a week. Besides the scenic drive, there are other activities to do in here, such as hiking. They got multiple hiking trails. The scenic drive is 54 miles long. It takes about 90 minutes. You get to enjoy all the epic landmarks from the comfort of your car. My GoPro doesn't do it justice though. Seeing it with my own eyes, it's a thousand times more stunning. I'm really proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone and completing this trip that I've always wanted to do. Even though I solo traveled a lot, I never went on a trip where I have to drive myself. Like I said earlier, I am not a confident driver, so not having someone sitting by my side to guide me while I drive makes me nervous. This is really an achievement for me. Oh my gosh, the scenic drive is so worth the money. I'm, I'm speechless. The view took my breath away. I'm just cleaning up all the dog hair in the car before I return the key. After returning the rental car, it's time to take off to Denver. Stay tuned for my solo adventure in Denver next. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please support me by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Also, turn on the notification alert so you know when I upload a new video.